Hello everyone, Vita Zay Fruity back with another how to play. Today we're looking at how to play Vampire Queen. This is the newest version by Play T and Pump Point Games. I guess originally this is a Japanese release, uh, or Asian release. And this is, um, it's had other versions in the past. Personally, I kind of prefer the artwork on the older versions, but it's hard to find the older versions. And I got this one, I believe, from Board Game Geek on their Geek Market, the Geek Shop, where they sell games on their website. So, yeah. And it's uh, ages 8 and up, anywhere from 3 to 12 players. You can play lots of people with this game. 30 minutes about the play. And it is a ladder climbing, trick taking game in which uh, you're trying to get rid of all the cards in your hand. And. You're gonna have a bunch of cards numbered one through 13. Uh, as you see here, all the eights look the same. All the fours are gonna be like this. All the twos are gonna look like that. So there's no specific suit, you know, there's 13 different vampires and colors. And you got these ones, this, the vampire queen, which is basically the 14. And you can play it as the highest card. You can also play it as any cards numbered 1 through 13, as like a wild card, and there's four of these. And then you got these two cards, these are the Vampire Hunters. This one is 15, or negative 15 points, and this one's a negative 20, and they are double-sided. So you're always going to know who has those cards. Now, you, if you're playing 3 to 5 players, you will use both of these. If you're playing 6 or more, you will only use the 20. Important to note. And the amount of cards you deal out is going to vary depending on how many players. So, I'm going to quickly deal out some cards here for like a three player game just to go over it. Thirteen cards. Each player is going to have a hand of cards. And what you're trying to do is get rid of the cards. The, the object is basically to set all these vampires free. Um, yeah, dawn is breaking. It's time for the good vampires to crawl into the safe crypt in the hidden castle of Dark Mountain. Before the cruel vampires, slayers catch them, and that's what your the vampires will do. The vampire slayers will do like this one right here. I just put it as it will capture cards, and you don't want that. Once a person has been able to bring all their vampires back into the uh, crypt and has no cards left in their hand, this phase is over. Any vampire cards left in your hand mean they stay outside the crypt and they will count as negative points. So once somebody goes out, any card you have left will be negative points. These cards, the vampire slayers, they can never go out. So if you get that one in your hand, you might be stuck with it and it's going to be negative 15 or 20 points, depending which one you have. There's the other one. <clears throat> so 13 cards for a 3 to 5 player game or six to eight if it's nine players it's 12 cards and if it's 10 players it's 10 and if it's 11 to 12 players it's nine cards just for the record uh, a game consists of five phases but you can agree on a different number of phases so five rounds basically Again, if you're playing six or more players, you're only going to use the number 20 Slayer card. In this case, we're using 15 and 20, but only one is in play currently.
Anyway, um, so when it's your turn, let's say I'm starting, I can play some cards. I can even play a set of cards. For instance, I don't have too many sets here, I don't think. But I could play, I could play a single card, like a two, and then everyone else has to play a single card. Or maybe I will play, actually I'll play a pair of twos. And the next player is going to go, obviously they'll have to play something higher. They don't have a lot of pairs. Maybe they'll play a pair of 13s. And this player is going to go. And they, they don't have anything they can really play, so they're going to pass. And I will pass as well. And that ends this trick. So then this guy won, so he's going to get to start. And he's going to play... Maybe he's going to play a pair of twos. <laughs> and you can see this guy, he's going to play a pair of fives. And then I play maybe a pair of eights. Ah, I'll play a pair of sevens, I guess. No, I'll play a pair of eights. Less points to hold on to should something happen. And this guy's going to pass. <clears throat> Come see this guy. <clears throat> They're going to play a pair of twelves. And then I'm going to pass. And then he's going to pass. And after this guy, maybe he doesn't have to play anything. He's not going to. He'll win that trick. He'll get to start. And <clears throat> maybe he plays three ones. Which to me, I'm going to play three proteins. This guy does not have a three of a kind, but he says, you know what? I'm going to play this card. The Vampire Slayer. And I'll explain how that works. <clears throat> um, actually, I'm not sure he's allowed to play this at the moment. He's going to pass after this guy. He's going to pass as well. So I win this one. And uh, I'll explain that in a minute. So let's just say I play a single four. This guy says, you know what, I'm going to play this 11. Because he wants to win. And this guy decides to pass. And I will also pass. Even though I could play a 12, I'm going to pass. Just to say that he wins this trick. So, let me make sure I'm going to get this correctly here. Now, it's important to note that if a vampire slayer gets played, he cannot play another one in the same round. But uh, this basically starts off this vampire slayer round. And as far as I can say, um, see it. Okay, so this person played this vampire slayer card. Now, everyone has to play a card. You cannot opt out. And whoever plays the highest card will get forced to pick up the cards. So maybe this guy doesn't want to break up his pairs, so he plays an 11 right off the bat. I'm going to play a 12, unfortunately. And this guy doesn't have a higher card. 
I got I gotta verify something here. And this card is treated as having a value of zero at the start here. Um, so yeah, basically, no one can pass. Uh, no one has to race, so this guy can maybe play. Maybe he wants to get rid of the nine. And it comes back to this guy. He'll play this card, and since he's played the highest card, he will win this round. And he's going to have to take all these cards and this card into his hat. So whoever ends up winning the Vampire Slayer round gets the Vampire Slayer card, and they add all those cards to their hand. And then, continue. Now, if you win this Vampire Slayer card, you cannot immediately play it again. You have to wait at least a round. So he's looking at his hand here, he's going to play a couple of threes, comes to me, I'll play a pair of sevens, this guy doesn't have a pair that he can play, so he's going to pass, and then this guy says, you know what, I'm going to make this a pair of nines, just to get rid of some cards, and he wins the trick. So now he's going to go again, maybe he plays a pair of sevens, uh, pass. This guy will pass. And then, uh, maybe he plays this card. Now, it's not going to be good because he's going to end up with the highest card. <laughs> I'm not going to get rid of that. I'm going to well, hold off. Let's just say he wins this and he collects these cards back into his hand and he gets this. So then, maybe he plays a, a six and then I go out. Once a person goes out, they win the round. Uh, everyone else is going to add up these cards that they have in front of them as negative points. So this guy would have tomorrow, uh, 18, 21 points. Uh, this guy has, he's got a lot. He's got 15 uh, and all of these other points. Uh, 45, 46 points. Anyways. <laughs> That's where that would end. And then we would get all the cards. This guy would be the start player. Whoever has a Slayer card would be the start player. They would sell up the cards, redeal, and they would hold on to this card. If more than one person has a Slayer card, I'm not sure how that would ha work, but it is what it is. It's an interesting little battle climbing trick taking game with these uh, added Vampire Slayers. And again, you're going to be playing. Uh, Four rounds, I believe it was. Five. Five phases, five rounds. And whoever has the least amount of negative points, minus points, will win the game. So you're going to take these points that you score as negative points. I would have zero because I went out. Whoever has the fewest negative points, whoever's closest to zero, wins the game. So that's the game. Hopefully that makes sense. It's pretty straightforward ladder climbing game. And that is that. That by a queen. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. We'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching. Uh, I should mention the quality on these is pretty good linen finish. No complaints. I just kind of prefer the art on the original. Anyway, just wanted to add that. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.